This is the Alte Pinakothek, one of the oldest galleries in the world, with masterpieces from Rubens, Leonardo da Vinci, and of course, Oh Albrecht, Albrecht Dürer, du reitest durch die Lande. Oh Albrecht, Albrecht Dürer. And more to that later. The Pinakothek was commissioned by our man, King Ludwig I. <laughs> in the 1820s. His goal was to create the central location where all the works of art that the Wittelsbach dynasty collected over the centuries is displayed and made public to the people. The Pinakothek was completed in 1836 by the architect Leo von Klenze. At the time it was the most modern and largest museum in the world and a trailblazer for future museum buildings worldwide. The question remains as to the name Pinakothek. Other places have national galleries, but I don't know any Pinakothek outside of Munich. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. Well, the Grecophil King Ludwig I naturally drew on the ancient Greek for the name again. Pinakothek means nothing other than room where paintings are kept. During the Second World War, the Pinakothek was badly hit by bombs. You can still see the wounds of the war on the building today. In the 1950s, the architect Hans Dölgast moved the main entrance from the south to the north and used stones that differed from the original building. In addition, the reconstruction was deliberately kept simple and modern. Inside, he added a grand staircase. Today, this renovation is considered groundbreaking However, there are also many who would have preferred a restoration of the old building by Leo von Klenze. Inside you can see paintings from the 14th century to the 18th century. It would be impossible to list all the masterpieces here. But one of the most famous works in the Alte Pinakothek is certainly the self-portrait by Albrecht Dürer. Oh, Albrecht, Albrecht Dürer. There are also many other paintings by the Nuremberg painter in the Pinakothek a fact that not every Nuremberger likes. But that's a discussion for another time. There are also paintings by Peter Paul Rubens, such as The Great Last Judgment, or The Fall of the Damned. The Madonna Tempi by Raphael, The Suicide of Lucrezia by Lucas Cranach the Elder. Leonardo da Vinci's Madonna of the Carnation. The Vegetable Heads by Giuseppe Archimboldo. The Resurrected Christ by Rembrandt. and Emperor Charles V by Tizian. And there are many more, it's impossible to list them all. In addition to the Alte Pinakothek, there's also the Neue Pinakothek, with works of art from the 18th century to the early 20th century. And the Pinakothek der Moderne with modern and contemporary art. But these are two videos for the future. If you'd like to visit the Alte Pinakothek, the opening hours are daily between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m on Tuesdays and Thursdays even until 8 p.m. Admission costs 9 euro regular, students, children under the age of 18 and senior citizens over the age of 65 can enter for 6 euro. On Sundays admission is only 1 euro, but the museums are usually more crowded then. Those who are very enthusiastic about art can also purchase a day pass for 12 euro. This includes access to all Pinakothek museums, as well as Museum Brandhorst and the Schack collection. As always, I put a link down in the description with further information. I hope you enjoyed the video. Here's my email address for guided tours through Munich. See you in the next video.